What's up guys, this is Sharon Zekria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to be making this video today and I'm so glad to be uh, showing you all what I'm going to do today after a very long time. And this video is going to be something really new. Uh, it's something that I've never done on my channel before. I'm really going to cook. And as the title says, I'm going to be making the Talasheri Dam Biryani, which is, which is a spectacular um, Kerala style, Kerala Muslim style Dam Biryani, which is going to be made using mutton. And uh, it's going to be some <laughs> something fun and it's going to be something that I've been trying um, off late. So it's the first time I'm doing it on camera. I hope you all you know, like it. I hope you all you all like what you all see and you know i hope you all can now try it at home and comment and let me know how it turns out to be and before all of this i really hope that you're doing fine and you're doing good because of uh, all the commotion that's happening with regards to covid 19 coronavirus i hope you are staying indoors i am staying indoors because of lockdown i'm just going out to get some essentials apart from that i'm not doing anything else I've been at home all these days. I hope you all are being at home as well. I hope your family is safe. I hope all your friends, relatives and everyone are at home. Uh, do follow the lockdown guys. One of y'all get out, contract the virus. Just don't forget that y'all are going to be coming back home and giving it to the folks at home. So don't do it. So just stay at home and stay safe. I hope all of y'all get out of this soon. I hope all of us get out of this soon. Uh, let's fight against this together. Stay safe guys. So let me quickly show you all the ingredients that I'm going to use to make the biryani. So I'm quickly going to head to the kitchen and continue the video from there. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make the biryani. So first I have some rice. This is the bullet rice that we use for the biryani. I've got it washed and soaked in here. I got about uh, 750 grams of mutton, some garam masala. I've got about, say, roughly about 15 to 16 green chili and uh, about three tablespoons of curd. I've got some pepper, salt, um, the juice of one entire lime, a handful of garlic, a handful of ginger. I've got some uh, deep fried onions here. So this is like the key factor of the Talasheri Dam Biryani because this is uh, what gives it that smokiness and that actual taste of the onions in the biryani. So uh, I've taken one big onion, chopped it very thinly and I've deep fried it and kept it aside to rest. And I've taken about three medium sized onions, uh, finely chopped, three tomatoes finely chopped and I've got some mint leaves and some coriander. So, uh, so these are the main ingredients that we're going to be using to make the biryani. Alright guys, so I've just taken a medium sized uh, cooker, a pressure cooker and uh, I'm going to pour in some oil first. First, I'm going to add in the chopped onions. So we don't want the onions to be uh, overcooked or to turn uh, too brown or golden brown or anything as such because it's going to be cooked along with the meat once I close the lid. I've got, uh, I've got the chili, the ginger and the garlic pounded into this texture so i'm going to be adding this into the onions and i'm going to saute this for a bit man that smell when you add the ginger and garlic into the you know uh, the onions that's that's cooking is outstanding already i just love the smell of onions when it's frying um, along with the ginger and garlic because that's something that gets me going literally. To this I'm going to be adding the chopped tomato and give it a quick stir. To this let's add some salt to taste now. You need to keep in mind that you need to add a bit extra than the usual because you're going to be adding in some uh, lemon and some lime juice and curd a little later because that's gonna like even out and make it a little more subtle so that you don't lose out on the salt because you need ample amount of salt when the meat is cooking only then the salt would actually get into the meat the next thing we're going to be adding in the meat that's been resting for a while now 
and I want to give this a quick stir. To this, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of pepper. and about half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Garam masala powder is what gives it the actual taste of the, what gives this biryani the actual taste because you know it's got this beautiful aroma it does not have too many spices like the other biryanis that we have for example like you know you have the Ambur biryani and you have the uh, Laknavi biryani, the Hyderabadi biryani uh, you, have, you have plenty of other varieties of biryani but this biryani uh, the main essence and the main flavor to this is the garam masala and that is where you have the taste kicking in uh, so once this is done we're gonna close this and uh, allow it to whistle about three or four times until the mutton is cooked thoroughly we don't want it to be cooked too much because it gets uh, too rubbery the key uh, to cooking mutton and keeping it keeping the meat tender is to keep the flame as low as possible so that's that's the main uh, catch in cooking mutton or any meat for that example not for the matter um, the more tender you want it the lower the flame that you want to keep so this was the last whistle this is the third whistle in the meanwhile i've taken another pan i'm gonna make the rice now the ghee rice or if you want to call it nature like how they call it in kerala so I'm going to add some oil into uh, the pan and I'm going to keep it like you know uh, half oil and half uh, ghee because uh, ghee is very much uh, required for ghee rice of course and that's what gives the rice its flavor. Once we have the oil and ghee uh, heated up I'm going to add in some uh, spice mixes that's closed uh, cinnamon and uh, some cardamom you can add bay leaves if you want along with this but I couldn't find any at the supermarket because of the lockdown so I'm not uh, you know, breaking my head over it it's, it is an option it just adds on to the flavor of the biryani and the rice uh, so once this is heated up I'm going to add about six cups of water and six so I initially said that I've uh, taken about uh, four cups of rice so, so the ratio is that you know you take uh, one and a half cups of water in the same measure of one cup of rice that you take so for one cup of rice you take one and a half cups of water so I've taken four cups of rice so I'm adding about six cups of water here to this I'm gonna add some salt for the rice So I've let the water boil and once the water starts boiling, I would add the rice into it and let it cook. And now um, the mutton is done. So let's just open it and see how it looks. Wow. <laughs> the smell that you get the moment you open it is <laughs> outstanding. Uh, let's just give it a quick stir. Oh, you can see that the meat is cooked so well and the juice has completely let off the meat. Uh, to this I'm going to be adding uh, the, the lime juice and I'm going to be adding some curd. That's the three tablespoons of curd that we have kept ready. Make sure you don't add too much lime because it's going to be too tangy and too sour once you add it to the rice and you don't want it to be like that and give this a quick stir so once it starts boiling again I'm going to be adding in the mint leaves and the coriander leaves and give it a nice mix like I said the garam masala is the key ingredient to our biryani we're gonna give this a quick mix again here we have the water boiling now so uh, I'm gonna add in the rice quickly so this rice is perfect I don't think basmati rice is the most apt rice to be using for this biryani 
Um, you can either use your jeera sambar rice that you get which is like one of the most uh, preferred kind of rice for biryani or you can add the bullet rice bullet rice is what we use for our typical ambo biryani and uh, the rice comes out really well it does not break too much as long as you cook it well so let's just give this a quick mix and let it boil for about 8 to 10 minutes and we need the water to reduce once the water reduces it means the rice is cooked and we don't want the rice to be cooked completely because we need to add the meat on the rice and allow it to uh, you know dump for a while so we need to have the rice cooked for about 85% and then we'll be uh, leaving it on dump for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes so our rice is done it is cooked for about 85% as you can see uh what we need to do now is we're going to turn off the flame and we're going to take half the rice off this um vessel and i'm going to keep it separately so that i can lay the meat on top of it so half the rice is going to go into this in the same vessel that i've cooked the rice so to this i'm going to add some ghee i'm not adding any food color just note that because you know uh, people at home don't prefer uh, too much of food color in the food so once this is done remember the fried onions we kept aside so i'm going to take a bit of this and i'm going to sprinkle it over this i'm going to add a pinch of garam masala yet again once i've added the garam masala i'm going to take portions of the meat the gravy and i'm going to put it over the rice so the main thing about this particular biryani is it is more of a layer kind of a biryani and not like the other dum biryanis where you you know add everything together and mix it all up this is not like that so let's just evenly spread this across so it covers the rice entirely and mix it all nice so once this is done we got to take the rice back up again and we gonna cover the meat we gonna add the second layer on top of the meat So that's about it. Uh we are done with our layering now and I'm going to close this. I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to light the stove. So I've just covered the vessel and I'm going to let this uh steam and uh be at dumb for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it on high flame for about 2 to 3 minutes and then I'm going to reduce it down to low flame after that. and as soon as that is done our biryani is going to be ready okay we are we done with 10 minutes of uh, steaming the biryani let's open it and see how it looks <laughs> man look at that i'm going to turn off the flame and before that i'm just quickly going to check if the rice is cooked yes the rice is cooked beautifully well i just turned the flame off and we have our amazing talasheri dum biryani ready you can see how it looks inside that the mint and the coriander gives this biryani a beautiful smell so i'm just going to mix it up a little not too much that's not how this biryani is supposed to be uh done so you have the meat you have the biryani here and you have the bista the fried onions looking amazing so here we have the beautiful kerala style talasheri dum biryani trust me this looks so good and so appetizing and it is best served with um onion raita and uh, pickle mostly preferred is um, lemon pickle and that is what makes it look good
and that's what makes it taste really good so i'm quickly going to get a bite just to show how it actually tastes and you know what i think about it so let me dig in it's hot so i'm going to take a piece of the meat uh, man it's hot <laughs> I can I can smell that fried onion and I can smell the the mintiness of the pudina and you know and the freshness of the coriander and you know, that's that makes you know the the smell of the biryani go into a different dimension altogether so I'm just going to mix that uh, raita and some lemon and a nice big chunk of the meat and I'm going to just dig in right now This is definitely one of the best biryanis I have ever had. <laughs> and the fried onions taste so good with the rice and that gravy. It's it's something that you all definitely need to try at home and you all definitely need to cook at home and taste it for yourself because I wish I could call you all home and make you all eat this amazing biryani that I made. But because of the lockdown I really can't but um I have given the ingredients and I have uh, shown the way I've cooked this biryani and I hope you all try making it at home and you all comment it down in the you know, section and the comment section below um, and tell me how it tastes so that I can know how many of you all have actually tried it and I can know how you know it, it has come out for you all let me just grab another bite before I can continue because this is really nice <laughs> talking about the coronavirus and covid-19 again guys do stay at home do stay safe cook whatever you all want i know you all have been craving for some really good food um i have been craving for really good you know for some really good food because you know it's been a long time since i've eaten outside and i am someone who cannot go a day or a meal without outside food or meat and i've been surviving as much as i can i hope you all are surviving as well man it's hot <laughs> it's really hot here in bangalore and um, stay safe guys please stay indoors let this whole thing settle and go down and until then make this beautiful biryani make sure you all, you all eat it it tastes mind blowing trust me <laughs> so as always stay armored stay safe i'll see you all in another video hopefully a cooking video that i can try something new i hope i can uh, do it i don't know how far this has come out and how good this is going to be i hope you all could bear the you know the, the video visuals that i showed you at because i don't have a great camera i tried whatever i can with my gopro with with as minimal lighting as possible i hope you all liked it i hope i have made justice to what i what i've cooked and uh, do if you like this video do give it a like and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel do subscribe to my instagram all my links are down in the description box below stay armored stay safe guys that's what all that matters stay at home I see you in another video. Bye.